Christian. Oh my God, dude. I was screaming without the S. I think it's, uh, that is it's cool. <laughs> a lot of good things are happening right now. Kevin Harvick won. I got a Dale Jr. Sun Drop shirt. I went to North Wilkesboro. It's a great, it's a great time to be buddy. It it certainly seems like it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I got me a a Sun Drop in High Rock, a Junior Drop or whatever the fuck they're calling it. Junior Drop. Yeah. So cheers to Dale Jr. North Wilkesboro, Kevin Harvick, that cop. Okay. Cheers to you, Seth, and all our viewers. That's been the show, guys. Um. <laughs> oh. No, we got. I got an axe to grind. Um. Yeah, so, axe to grind. I got an axe to grind. All right. So I'm fucking exhausted today. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. So I'm sure you are as well. Uh, yeah, you know I was, was great. Exceptionally tired yeah. today. You know what was great when Last Richmond year. was a Saturday night race, and yeah. we got Sunday to recover, and then went to work on Monday. Instead I of- love the fact. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I love yeah. the fact that we not only moved it from a night race. Where it was beautiful weather during the day, and well, no, it was hot as fuck during the day very, last year. Yeah, it was very hot. But at night, it was like beautiful. It was perfect. You know, you needed a hoodie maybe at the end of that, towards the end of that race. It was, it was perfect. And I love that we moved it from night to day, and then also moved it up a month, so it's that much hotter. So, I mean, it wasn't brutally hot towards the end of the race, but uh, at the beginning of the race, it was hot as shit and it's like so thanks thanks nbc thanks tv for that um well it's like the only other race this year where i was that exhausted after like the next day was bristol and that was because it rained all day and we didn't get home till four yeah but it's like it's just i mean it doesn't obviously it doesn't help that we're two and a half three hours depending on you know you and i yeah, but who away. who really is that close? Like, I mean, there's probably a ton of people who that uh, that's the same case. You can't. Yeah, it's something that's becoming more apparent. Obviously, with these three thirty three o'clock start times, you they the fan experience is is getting pushed to the back burner more and more because of this. Because we not only start at three o'clock in the afternoon, which is the hottest part of the day, and also we don't get night races anymore because um you know tv whatnot they got it like this new tv we, everybody's been harping on it we haven't really harped on it much because i don't i don't know about you i don't really know shit about it so i'm not been, i haven't been talking about it i'm not um, a contract lawyer I, no yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm not i'm not i'm gonna try not to talk out of my ass i already do that enough um but i i don't it it is this it's definitely been, this would have been a perfect race to be a saturday night race been beautiful it would have been awesome it would have been perfect yeah. it would have been absolutely perfect um and i don't i I just don't get it i don't i mean i understand why but it's it it sucks a lot what's what's different from the past 30 years when we did saturday night races decently regularly i mean it wasn't the main part of the schedule but we had like what seven eight nine a year we did it regularly and it wasn't a problem for the longest time was it think about how many summer races used to be night races we used to have what chicagoland kentucky Daytona in July, um, fucking um, there, there's more. Um, well, Bristol used to be a, a, a summer race too. Yeah, Bristol used to be a summer race. Obviously, Richmond was later in the summer, but it it, it was a night race, and you had there were a lot of night races. Like that was yeah. the thing in the summer because Kansas used to be a night race. Like it yeah. was because it's hot. Yeah, and we don't want to put the fans out in you know the summer heat watching cars go in circles for three and a half hours yeah uh and when it's 100 degrees granted it wasn't that yesterday but it didn't have to be as hot as it was during the race because yeah like i said uh in the post-race videos like they got lucky that it wasn't rough you know brutal as shit out there but yeah that's not gonna happen again if it was last year oh god yeah like the Xfinity race was fine because it was the Xfinity race, and I think we were all had a pretty few brewskis in us because we were excited that Dale Jr. was racing. But God, last year's race, how boring that race was! Oh my God, I would have shot myself. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's just it's like, I, we got lucky with Nashville. I was dreading that. Yeah, that was 
that was the, probably one of the hotter races I've ever attended. That sucked for TV, but it was lucky for fans. Honestly, that yeah. rain delay. Um, I, I yeah, it, we need to we need more night races. I'm sorry, like NASCAR needs to needs to grow a pair of fucking stones and put their foot on NBC and Fox's neck and be like, look, we can't shit on the fans that come to the racetracks because that's you know, granted, yeah. apparently ticket costs don't fucking matter anymore. Yeah, or ticket uh, sales don't matter anymore. But still, I mean, if the more people that don't come to the race, I would imagine that still is going to take people away from the viewership. Because the more you shit on the fans and more they don't want to come to the racetrack, the more disdain they're going to build for the sport. It's just stupid. Like, yeah. like, especially when you don't have a great racing product, too, at a place like Richmond, which yeah. – We'll talk about the racing product at Richmond later because it wasn't terrible, I don't think. But, yeah. It, you know. I mean, if I was a filthy casual scrolling through, because that's who they're the, – the 3 o'clock start times are they're trying to catch people scrolling through TV. How often do people even do that anymore? I don't know. But that seems to be – that's the plan. And it's I, like – Yeah. If Sorry. I was – if that was me and I'm a filthy casual, I'm not watching that for more than like 10 minutes. Like, I'd have been like, that sucks gonna watch something else yeah no and that, that's something that's the thing they're chasing this casual fan and that's why we do this but yet you have this prime opportunity to do this fucking docuseries and i bitch about this on tiktok go follow us on tiktok um big better small blade um i i bitched about it on there how they put the docuseries on usa they're trying to attract the casual fan like like they are with these yeah. start times and whatnot but yet they put it on network television you know what casual fans don't have fucking network television <laughs> like yeah yeah no, i don't i don't know like, it, you literally have a streaming service too. fucking yeah. put it on peacock oh my god and last week I, I meant to mention this last week how uh qualifying and practice were on nbc sports app instead of yeah peacock like i dude if if you told me all right every practice qualifying talk shows the race is going to be on Peacock. You got to pay $5 a month. Guess what? You know what I'm doing? I'm canceling my damn YouTube TV. I'm saving me $70 a month. I'm paying $5 for Peacock, and guess what? I'm watching every damn thing anytime it's on ever. Yep. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Yeah. So, I mean, and obviously that's not going to attract the casual fan because they're not going to pay for the thing. But, you know, TV, TV is king right now, and it, it holds a lot more power. No, yeah. 100%. We're not AX7. I'm not hailing to the king. Well, that and that and we talk about having night races in the playoffs. It's like you back back when Charlotte was a night race in the playoffs. And yeah. obviously it's a little bit different now. But back then, you even like even the at track fans, you might be cannibalizing because there's probably people who want to come to the Charlotte race, but have like season tickets for the Panthers or something. And they're like, well, I'm not going to do that. You're cannibalizing the at track fans and you're cannibalizing the TV fans. Cause they're like, well, I, I got a football game to watch. NASCAR is not that important to me. Oh, here's something else I want to bring up. It might be, you know, controversial for some people, but you know, read a book. Um, the world is getting hotter. This planet is getting hotter. You can't tell me it's not. I used to go to the Charlotte fall race and freeze my ass off. I go there now, and I am, and it is ninety five fucking degrees, and it's the same as it was ten years ago. the The world's getting hotter. You are just shitting on your fans. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's just that's, 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 that's uh, grinds my gears through for ever loving hell. Like, yep. Fucking God bless. Yeah, I think we've uh, I think we've done this topic to death, but it needed to be done. It needed yeah. to be done. No, uh, yeah, no, I was, it was just, this is the first week where I think it's just, we've been to so many races this year and God, the weather has just been extreme on both ends. It's yeah. never been like comfortable the entire year we've, this season. So I think I just had it at my wits end with it. Um, yeah, out of all the races we've been to, I think I can think of maybe one that was like comfortable. Talladega was probably like the only one that was really Even then it was hot. I mean, this was fine once like halfway through the race yeah it, was it wasn't it wasn't awful after the cloud cover rolled in and it looked like it was gonna rain yeah 
pretty much. Because it's th- they ra- started a race at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and so, of course, it was a threat of rain. Yeah. Yeah. It's like everywhere you go in the summertime, your chance of a thunderstorm or something in the afternoon is, is high. absolutely fucking stupid. Yeah. Like, uh, I don't know. You know how many of those – filthy casuals that you were going to catch by running the race at that point that aren't going to tune in to stay for the rain delay Damn uh, all straight of them. <laughs> yeah they're going to go oh, watch yeah. baseball or something or preseason yeah. football or whatever. i wish i had not tuned back into the 2021 daytona 500 <laughs> um that was, anyway. the longest, that was the longest day like ever dude. that was stupid dude <laughs> i remember taking a nap on my floor oh yeah waiting for that, that race to restart <laughs> and then the ending of that race i was just like why did i why i should just stay to sleep it's like they didn't they didn't we just like we wasted seven hours trying to wait for the race to restart and then they didn't do anything for like the next 400 miles no it was so bad (laughs) big dumb 